This is the Athlete of the Week, and it's brought to you by Diamond Point and Sock Center here on Mid-Minnesota Sports. And with us right now is a, right now a hockey player. This is Gabe Polipnik. Well, Gabe, we'd like to start out with uh, who's in your family? Tell us who mom and dad is. My parents are Phil and Jackie Polipnik. Um, my oldest sibling is Dick Polipnik, followed by Noah, Philip, then it's me, and then my younger siblings, Christopher and Anastasia. Okay, I lost track. How many is that? <laughs> so that's six kids among the two among the family of eight. So okay, I'm right in the middle of the pack. So now you're playing hockey right now, but what other activities are you involved in? Um, I'm involved in plenty of stuff from fall musical to football to golf, um, student council, speech. We used to be in unite and student and student leaders, uh, captains and leaders. That is, and yeah, pretty much. Yeah, let me ask you then, how do you? Uh, take care of all of your time how do you compartmentalize all that stuff <laughs> well sometimes you don't compartmentalize it you just uh roll with it and it all kind of meshes together at times but uh just i think it's exciting you know being busy is is fun so uh you know i go from one event to the next and it's all i get to see good people and good people make it make it smooth so i'd say people are important well i'm not really sure where to start with you in a sense of what should we talk about first um I'd like to talk about some of the fall activities with your, uh, the, the, whatever, the musicals or plays or whatever. Can you tell us more about that? So this year was different. Um, obviously due to COVID, we had to do a digital recording. Um, so we, it consisted of, we still got together every morning um, before school and uh, we would record songs separately from filming the footage. Um, so this year is kind of different as make, like making a film production pretty much. Um, so that was different, that was kind of cool. I still miss the in-person a lot more, uh, performing in front of the crowds and, and with uh, our cast members, that's always a lot of fun. So um, yeah, that's how that went this year. You know, to put yourself out there like that, uh, again, I think it's not for everybody, right? Uh, you have to have, how would you describe it? What do you have to have inside of yourself to be able to do that? Well, um, one thing you gotta wanna have fun because um, it's always a blast. Uh, you gotta be willing to get up in the morning. You gotta uh, be willing to work with people, um, be coachable, being a teachable person is really big uh, for any activity really. Um, being able to take uh, critiques or you know improvements, how to improve. Um, I would say though just, uh, it takes determination and persistence. Sometimes you don't get the role you want or the position you want. Um, so you gotta come back year after year. Um, I can think of a lot of good guys in my life who've shown me a good example with coming back even when they don't get the result they want. Eventually they do. So it just shows good work ethic. Um, yeah, I just, it's a fun experience. I really, yeah, I, you, you have to know how to put in the time, but at the same time, it's a blast. So you just gotta be fun and, and willing to work with other kids and teachers and yeah. You know, as you say that then, and we're talking about the arts, you can say the exact same thing about athletics then, really? right? Yeah. Yeah, so how does that go with, uh, let's start out again with the fall, with football. Uh, what do you bring to the football team? What do I bring to the football team? Well, I hope uh, I bring smiles to my teammates' faces, um, along with uh, just fun memories, practices, where they'd look back in 10 years and say, you know, we didn't always have the best record at Sox Center, but uh, man, was it just a blast because this and this happened or you know we always had spaghetti suppers where everybody always had a lot of fun and you know talks to each other and makes jokes and I, I just like to be part of that team chemistry and, and be a positive impact there um, and then obviously on the field try to give it my all and, and know all of my assignments and help spread that to the rest of the rest of the team um, so just leading by example and making fun memories is what I'd say I'd like to give to, to the team the most. Another try for Sox Center from the five. Eye formation this time for the Streeters. They will hand it off. Here's a run and a touchdown. Sox Center has scored. It's a touchdown. It's a Gabe Polipnik bursting in off the left side there behind Schuster and Macros. Good blocking up front. Streeters able to crack through the goal line and hang a number here on the board. Would you describe yourself as a high energy guy? Uh, most of the time, yes. <laughs> yeah, because when I see you play football, I see you on the hockey rink here and uh, just doing that. But then I want to relate it to then, now you play golf, okay? Football, hockey, you're out there mixing it up, hitting people and all that kind of stuff. But golf, 
completely different. It is. How, how do you turn your mindset then? Um, I would say for the energy in golf, it kind of shifts more from uh, physical exertion more to uh, like uh, you talk to more people, you talk more, you know, because you're standing there. You, you make, um, you're basically meeting a lot more people and well, not necessarily, you're, you're making uh, better relationships with uh, your opponents or your teammates because uh, you're out there on the course together. So I'd say the energy transfers from more of a physical to uh, talking with people and, and having energy uh, with interacting and, and making memories and, and good chemistry among teammates and opponents and coaches and yeah. So how is your golf game? Um, actually, I haven't uh, been on the team in a couple of years because of some crazy stuff. Uh, oh. Whether it was COVID last year, didn't have a season, um, whether it was uh, I joined track actually in sophomore year, so that's why there's been a little bit of a gap since since I've played golf. But I am going back next this year, so um, I would say I'm not uh, Tiger Woods, but I find it to be a blast. So I think it's fun. So mm -hmm. it doesn't matter to me. <laughs> you know, you kind of touched on too. It, it's not always just the record of a team, is it? Uh, there's much more so in a sense that relate this then to hockey and how the hockey team and how the hockey players kind of grow into this sport. Well, um, I think it teaches you a lot when you know how to lose, um, when you go through it so much, unfortunately, that we have uh, in the past. Um, it, it does teach you a lot about how to rebound and how to come back the next day or the next week and the next season. Um, so learning how to lose is really big in life because if you didn't know how to lose, you wouldn't know how to come back from losing. Um, so I would just say attitude is a big part of it, um, attitude after season, after bad seasons, after bad games, um, having a good attitude, going back to it, being persistent, like I mentioned earlier. Um, I would say our guys have grown into it by, uh, they know their roles and um, they know what they have to do uh, to try to give us the best chance for the next opportunity. So they, we, we look at ourselves and you know analyze what could we have done better, what could have gone uh, better and just do as much as we can to capitalize on those issues and fix them and then move on so it also seems to me too with uh, your hockey coach uh, coach Weirman that uh, he talks a lot about that doesn't he and uh, what what are some of the things that he says and how do you relate to that absolutely yeah uh, coach has puts a lot of good words in uh, for us our minds to turn on um, from uh, we in the past we've had like seasons we have assigned words to or had a theme per se um, whether it was one year we had every day so we we focused on just showing up every day and and the repetitive you you show up and you do your job every day every day every day if you do it every day eventually you're gonna get better and better and better and better so uh, and another one was details we focused on the details um, because systems work if the details are in place whether it's um, work ethic to fork checking to communication to everything really um, so coach really he he helps uh, with communication, with uh, with instilling those those core values that you need to bounce back from a loss, especially. Um, so definitely, he, he puts a lot of character in our guys through through uh, working and learning from losing, communication, every day having those details, going as fast as you can, giving it all you got every shift, and then taking a breather and going and doing it again. So. You know, too, also on the hockey team, which is different than other sports, you're with other athletes from other schools, from Long Prairie Gray Eagle to Browerville. Uh, can you kind of tell us uh, how is that mix and how does that all work work out? I think our guys are awesome. It's it's fun. Um, we've never, I've never had any issues uh, meshing with uh, the other towns. Um, if anything, um, it makes me feel better going to inner town events because I feel like I, I do know more people. Um, and then. Uh, yeah, we've never had any issues. Our guys have gotten together, and it's like we've been friends since we're 12 years old, and we're co we have been. Um, so, really, uh, we've never had any chemistry issues. We all have fun together. It's a blast. Um, yeah, so. Well, I guess the main thing is you want to play, and right now you get to play. Like you mentioned before, uh, everything is so out of whack here. I should touch on, too, with school. How does school go for you with uh, the distance learning and all that stuff? How have you reacted to it, and what do you sense from your classmates? Distance learning has been a challenge for sure. Um, it's 
certainly different from the traditional school that we've all been doing for our entire lives. Um, luckily, we're going back next week here, so I'm actually kind of excited to see all my classmates again for the last couple of months of my high school career. So I'm excited to, to bring the class back together. It's like we've been taking one big long summer vacation or something. Mm -hmm. We haven't seen each other here and then, but you know, half the class you don't see with hybrid or whatever it may be. So um, I would say, yeah, the online learning um, definitely has taken adapting and getting used to. Um, it really it really puts uh, the independence into play, um, whether a kid can get up himself and turn his homework in and because so much of that is, is taken away when you're at home online by yourself is you have to be a lot of times your own teacher, your own facilitator and, and be responsible for yourself. So I'd just say a lot of those self-independence and responsibilities comes into play. Um, uh, in school, I can't wait to be back in school. I think everybody's going to be a lot really excited to be back. So I think it'll make people uh, happier, happier to be there than they have been in the past. So I think that'll be cool. I should ask you too, uh, what subjects do you like and uh, why do you like those? What subjects do I like? Well, my favorite class period is lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Well, um, FIAD is always fun. I'm sure every athlete says that. Uh, but uh, as far as subjects that I enjoy, um, I probably in my future will be involved in some kind of business degree from a four-year school or something. So I enjoy like economics or like I was in the uh, Western CEO program last year. Um, I don't know if you know anything about, about, th about that, but it's basically a big old business class where you get to meet with people. And that was probably my favorite class I ever took because uh, it was very hands-on and we traveled to businesses and took tours and so that was fun. Um, otherwise, as far as your, your uh, normal subjects, I don't like or dislike any of them more than the others. So I would say subject-wise, I like business and anything creative like art can be fun and collaborative projects and shop is always fun. And so I, I like it all, mm -hmm. pretty much. <laughs> I should ask you, uh, are you though kind of at a point too to where ready to move on and your next step is uh, going to be what do you think? Yep, you're from high school you mean? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I would say yeah I mean it's been a wonky journey um, and I wish it would have the final stretch would have been different but we're making do with what we got for sure and it's still fun. Um, but my future looks like uh, I'm I intend to get a four-year business degree from a four-year school um, not sure exactly what degree um, or where. So that might take some time to figure out yet. I'm contemplating a gap year, but uh, we'll see there. So that's pretty much all in, up in the air yet. So I do want to, I was just thinking here, I should have said it at, at the start when we talked about your family. Your family is tight, isn't it? And just your whole relationship, can you kind of describe and give us a, a feel of what it's like to be a Polipnik? Yeah, it's. I'm sure it's certainly, certainly unique compared to others. I've never been in another family, so I don't know what it's like to not be in ours. But uh, um, like you said, energy is a big, a big part. It, it plays a big role in our family. So whether it's doing the dishes with all of my siblings, it feels like there's 20 people in one room and you got music blasting and other people singing their own songs and people trying to tell stories. And it's, it, you, you have to be able to handle the, the level of, of uh, chaos and, and energy going on all the time so um there's it's really a it, it it teaches taught me to be responsible for my younger siblings and as far as giving rides or uh you know getting your chores done all, all those little things but um i would just say i i'm grateful and thankful to have so many people in my family because it's never boring it's there's always something going on always something to do so i would say it's a very entertaining uh, house to be in mm -hmm. is what i would call it well i wish you well going forward and again uh, i would like to uh, at least compliment you and congratulate you as i see you play you do bring energy and i think it rubs off on everybody and so good for you for doing that thank you all right this has been gabe polipnik he is our athlete of the week brought to you by diamond point in sock center